Christine, a brand strategist in New York City. Typically, I'm in New York, but last episode, I actually went back home in Taiwan, which I do yearly, and this is part five of me doing this. So in my last episode, if you missed it, I was working my last week, and then I am now officially on one month of holidays to spend time with my friends and family. So enjoy this one, because I will be having fun and not working. As part of my first activity of being on holiday, we're going to Xingyi Chu and just taking a little walk around the city as our first unofficial date since me returning back to Taiwan. Nowhere really compares to New York in terms of the Christmas season, but Taipei really impressed me this year of being in Xingyi Chu and seeing the lights walking around, there's definitely a lot of people being here and taking pictures because it's not usually like this, but nice to just immerse in the holiday vibes. <laughs> this is the same everywhere, but similar to New York, there's a lot of branded installations around the Christmas season to get brand awareness and brand um, likeability up. This one is by Dior. It's a non-traditional Christmas tree. There was plenty of things to see, plenty of installations to take pictures of. As you can see, it's loaded with people walking around, enjoying and taking lots and lots of pictures. Personally, I was really surprised how well it looked on camera. And yeah, here you go, me walking through a flower tunnel. I realized halfway though that the flower was not real and I was kind of disappointed, but still pretty. We called it an early night the day prior because I was recovering from a cold and also because today is a pretty big day for me. So today is the first time I'm meeting my boyfriend's extended family, including his grandma, his uncle, his aunt. And even though I've met his parents before and his close family, I'm still very nervous because it's been a while but they were all very nice and welcomed me with open arms. So definitely very thankful. When I come back to Taiwan, it feels like everything kind of happens at a expedited pace. So because I'm in New York most of the year, when I come back to Taiwan, it's like we have to make the most of it to try to squeeze in meeting my family, meeting his family, doing all the things that we want. Especially with his busy schedule, he gets at most one day off per week. So on the off days, we also squeeze in date activities as much as we can. And it's just simple things too, like grabbing dinner together, being able to sit down and watch a movie, or just discuss and talk about random things. These are things that even though we get to do when I'm away through FaceTime, it's different when you get to be right next to the other person and being able to hold hands and being able to react in real time or I don't know, like just sharing a meal, feeding each other or asking each other, do you want the last piece of this meat? It's little things like that, little moments that you don't realize you don't get until you don't have it. Also to say, just eating this nice Tony small bites and watching a baseball game together, I'm really thankful and really happy. This vlog is just me very happy because I'm not working this week and just enjoying great food and enjoying great company. Hello, it is day three of not having to work and today I am hanging out with one of my friends from college and we're just getting dinner and drinks 
I was editing videos just now, so trying to keep myself occupied even though I don't do a 9 to 5 currently because I'm on holiday. So let's go and eat some izakaya. Another weird phenomenon is that you catch up with friends once a year or even once every two years if you don't get to squeeze in the time when we're back. But thanks to social media and being able to catch up through really quick instant messaging nowadays, it's like you never left. You could just talk and feel like, oh, I haven't seen you, but also I've seen you. Chuman 快樂可以見到一些很臭美見到的朋友For dinner, we're getting some ramen nearby at a place called Shu Ji Wu. We ordered the chicken thick broth ramen with duck chicken and duck char siu, and also the duck breast char siu rice. It was honestly um, really delicious. However, I think the thick broth did get a little bit heavy towards the end, but the rice was so good. The way they kind of glazed it in the end with that kind of smoky burnt taste, it was on point. After dinner, we just took it chill. Um, I did some research on our upcoming trip to Kyoto and Osaka, and then he did some reading for work. <laughs> Very busy man, and I'm just enjoying my holidays. I 不然我就會成為一個超級無敵的大遲到人 
We definitely splurged a little bit or a lot eating um, the beef tongue, but because these cost like like probably a hundred dollars if you want to get it in the states, we thought we'd justify it because it's like half the price that you could get it in Taiwan, and it was definitely really delicious. But I do understand that it is a little bit pricey or a lot pricey compared to normal Taiwanese like small bites, but. You can't go wrong with beef tongue. Just look at my face and how I'm enjoying it so much. We are selling the best is and the Thai is the best. And the meat is like a little bit After lunch, we walked around and came across this plum wine vendor. And we stayed around and tried some. They had some really special flavors like peach plum wine, yuzu plum wine, and rose plum wine. Being both huge plum wine fans, we were definitely sold and got some for ourselves. Mm. Ooh. 我真的很多美酒 Probably try to bend certain uh my chat. <laughs> Drunk chat. <laughs> Drink and chat. So wine and dine. Drink and drink and think. Just a yiga then the coffee chat. Oh, I did be think and drink. Now send think one. Now I'll do drink one, don't put think. Yes, it could. Yes, it could think. Okay, think. 
以喝完酒可以写学测题目。轻松。要写自考。轻松。轻松吗？喝醉，然后写了，然后我还大数特，应可应该还不会大数特，跟你喝醉，然后就清醒了就写。确实离我太遥远。好喝，好，我们来看电视。啊，不录了。